I'm going to show you how to upload a new voice prompt package. This could be replacing what's already there for every single sound. That will take a long time to do. But if you have specific messages you want to replace. So the first step is you have to know the file name of the audio files. And you're going to look at this file that you download called UCM Voice Prompt List. And it's going to show you the file name of every single audio file in the system along with the text-to-speech that it is using. So if you want to re-record or alter it, you have this to work off of. And it shows you where this file came from. Is it from Grandstream? Is it from Asterisk? Or other things like that. And so you can go through and find the file that you need. You'll also see it shows the directory that that file is located in. So you need to follow that completely. And you'll see it also comes with a readme file and a PDF with uh, useful information. So we have this file here called Asterix Core Sounds with the language EN English. And I'm using the WAV file one because it's easier to work with. And we can extract that. And you'll see uh, VM login. There it is. Comedian mail. Mailbox. So I'm going to replace that message. So I've gone to a website called Eleven Labs, and I have an account, and I'm using this voice here called Serena, and it has a great um, replace a great voice sound that should match pretty well. And so I put in this text here, um, or welcome to the voicemail system. Enter your mailbox number. And then you generate it into the voicemail system. Enter your mailbox number. And then we can download that file. Obviously, we will want to rename that so that it matches what we had before. Uh, in, so I have a new folder here. Ignore this. Here we go. So these are the two files that I've downloaded. Uh, text-to-speech and, and created them and I've renamed them the correct file name and these are mp3s that came off of that website. I created a folder called en underscore new so en is the language you have to have the two language code from Grandstream from their uh, voice prompt guide and then underscore and then up to four characters four digits to identify this voice prompt. I'm only going to put these two files in so what it will do is it knows it's part of English and it will replace those other, uh, those two files and the rest will stay uh, active. There has to be an info.txt file with the language and then a blank empty second line. So make sure you do that. So the next thing I need to do is I need to convert these two files to the right file format. And so I'm going to use this website here, Convertio.co. We are going to open my file. And I'm going to convert it to a GSM. I could have done them both at the same time. And it should take only a couple seconds to convert since it's such a tiny file. And now we downloaded it and I can open it up. Actually, I probably can't. No, nope, I can't open it up to play it. But And then I'm going to convert the second one. and then download it. Here are my two files and I'm going to put them into this new folder here. Actually you can see I already did that. So there's my two files.
they're in the folder called en underscore new and I have my info.txt. I can delete these two. I don't need the mp3s anymore. I have them elsewhere. So now I'm going to zip up the folder and the info. The folder again has my two files in it. We're going to add it to a zip using whatever zipping utility. You can use what's built into Windows, whatever. Then we go to our uh, Grandstream UCM. I'm going to go to Voice Prompts under PBX, Upload. Going to choose my zip file. Send it to it. And now it's listed there. It knows it's English and it's in EN new. It's the second one. I'm going to choose this. And so what's going to happen is it's going to use this file, these voice prompts for anything in that zip file. If anything does not exist, which is most of them, it's going to fall back. It knows to then use the English because that's the same language name. So we'll save that. We'll apply my changes. And now when I call into voicemail, it will no longer say comedian mail. And I'll give a listen in a moment. Welcome to the voice system. Enter your extension number. And there we go. So it played my new prompt. Very easy. Final important thing you need to do is if the voice prompt that you loaded is not working, it could be a language setting. Go to your extensions, edit one of the extensions, and check out what language it's using. If it's hard-coded to a specific language, it will not use the modified language that you uploaded. What you'd have to do is either choose that new language, or better yet, just leave it at default, and then it will then follow whatever you set in the voice prompt, so if it's English or whatever. This way, if a specific user has a different language sele selection, then it will apply. You can also edit multiple extensions at once if you need to by going to edit here. And then you can find language and push that.